Thursday, 13th of September, and you're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. Global risk factors are likely to remain key drivers for the rupee, especially if the Federal Reserve embarks on further stimulus measures and its policy meeting later today. Joining me to talk about the currency, Jonathan Kavanagh, uh, currency strategist at Westpac Banking. He joins us from Singapore. Jonathan, thanks for joining in. The rupee has been gaining ground on speculation of, of a fresh round of asset purchase by the Federal Reserve, uh, you know, known as QE3. This comes on the back of Monty announcing a bond buying program in Europe as well. How much of this is really rubbing off on, on the strength that we're seeing in the currency? Uh, well, I certainly think that that's benefited uh, the rupee um, in the past few weeks. Um, we've seen, obviously, a general trend to, to strengthen um, you know, most Asian currencies have been rising against the US dollar um, since, as you say, those uh, the ECB announced uh, a fresh round of uh, bond purchases. Um, and we also have seen, obviously, continued speculation that the, the Federal Reserve is going to do the same. Um, that certainly benefited the rupee, um, probably a little less than other Asian currencies, but we certainly see scope for the rupee to maybe play catch up in the period ahead if we see some positive domestic news, whether that's around uh, the FDI story um, or potentially an RBI rate cut, which would encourage more capital inflows into India. So at the moment, we're, we're quite constructive on the rupee outlook uh, for the next month or two. Jonathan, uh, options are signalling the narrowest, perhaps the narrowest swings for the rupee right now. Has the environment for carry trade improved for the Indian currency, is, is confidence, in a sense, returning? Do you see a revival in carry trade? Well, I certainly think if you look at what's happening in terms of risk appetite at the moment, uh, that's improving. Um, volatility, as you mentioned, is, is quite low. Uh, so if risk appetite's generally pretty buoyant, volatility are low, uh, that's generally a fairly positive environment for carry trades. And within the Asian region, the Indian currency uh, has the best carry characteristics. Uh, so certainly if we see fresh stimulus from both the Federal Reserve combined with what the ECB is doing and also China potentially announcing fresh stimulus measures as well, then that's going to be, I think, a fairly positive environment for most Asian currencies and the rupee is certainly going to benefit in the, that environment. And so we could certainly see uh, some investor interest come back into the rupee from a carry perspective. You just preempted my question, Jonathan. I was just going to ask you about China and the fact that they're talking about a $16 billion stabilization fund. If that happens, uh, will we see additional, and we will obviously see some liquidity sloshing around. Uh, where do you expect the rupee to go? I mean, in terms of strengthening substantially from the base of 55 that it seems to have found right now. Yeah, I guess the, the level I'm watching out for in terms of the spot market is probably around 54 and a half. Um, that's, that's been, I guess, a recent low against the, uh, from a dollar India perspective. So that's my initial target on the downside. Um, and a, a break of that level, I think, could obviously pave the way for a move towards 53. Um, but to get, I guess, a move towards 53, we're probably going to need some... Uh, I guess some signs of stability on the inflation front um, from an India perspective. As I said, some potentially positive announcements around the FDI story into India um, to, to, to really get some, some traction on the rupee from that perspective. I think, as I said, we need to see more positives coming out from the domestic side in India. Um, the positive external environment around fresh QE, China stimulus, etc., will only take the rupee so far. And that's why we're initially only targeting a move to the, towards that 5450 level. Um, but if we see it combined with some potential more positives emanating from a domestic India perspective, then I think we can get a more bullish um, rupee scenario over the next one to two months. We'll leave it there. Jonathan Kavanagh, many thanks for joining us uh, with your perspective. That was Jonathan Kavanagh from Westpac Banking in Singapore on currency.